Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at the slash place command which is new in Minecraft 22W18A. And as you can see in my world, holy moly, there's a lot going on. Uh, things are a little bit insane and out of whack. We're going to be looking at the place command and this is really, really cool and really, really powerful. It allows you to use commands to make structures that were previously hidden behind structure blocks and needed to do a whole lot to kind of pull them out of the Minecraft code. So Minecraft has a lot of different builds inside of Minecraft that are uh, used in world generation that are used throughout you know your Minecraft experience but they're actually set builds that someone had to make and they are uh, hidden inside of the code and I've done videos like every single bastion structure in Minecraft or every single in city structure in Minecraft and those structures can now be easily obtained with the slash place command so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, first, when you type out slash place, you have three different options. Feature, jigsaw, and structure. And the way to think about these three different options are that feature is, is basically a feature inside of world generation. So this is something that isn't a city, it isn't some crazy like uh, you know bastion remnant or a uh, or, or anything in another this is a feature of world generation so what would that include some uh, things are like trees trees would be a feature or maybe a amethyst geode in fact we can go ahead and look through the feature list and you can see acacia trees amethyst geodes scroll down a whole f long way in spike in the islands fossil coal uh we got icebergs jungle tree kelp that sort of thing and i can just choose really any of these uh i don't really want to choose an ore let's choose something kind of cool i think i saw end end island oh my gosh what is this? Whoop, bam there we go so now i just made an in island that has three-dimensional structure. It has all of the things that an in island should, except I just used a single command in order to pull it off. And you'll notice as I kind of spam this command that the end islands are different from one another. So this only has three layers. That one over there has four. This one has a whole bunch more. And so it's kind of choosing a random structure out of its pool of structures and placing it down. So this would be a really, really helpful way to make a map super duper fast. If you wanted something that looked like an end island, bam, there you go. You could just use the place command and you have a approximation of something that you want. So that is the feature category. Next, let's go to the jigsaw category. So in the jigsaw category, this is where things get a little bit complicated because my friends, I am not a jigsaw expert. Inside of structure blocks, there is one of the structure blocks called a jigsaw block. This is used as basically the glue when sort of making every every type of structure block uh, come together. So you could have uh, one structure that has some jigsaw blocks and then those jigsaw blocks would attach to other structures so that you could create a massive structure within just a few uh, little things. Um, and so I can, I can kind of hack this to sort of get something to happen. Uh, basically, if I see like village, desert, I think I can do town center. I could use the bottom command and then I could like like add some numbers here and there we go. So it makes uh, that happen. So what's happening here in the command that I, I wrote down is we're placing down a jigsaw. The one that we're placing down is a town center. Bottom is what it anchors to. So we want this to anchor to the bottom of the blocks. And then three is the amount of times that the jigsaw will propagate. So if I did like, I think seven is the maximum. If I did seven, it would go uh, much larger and much bigger. So you can see it kind of goes over there and 
uh, it looks like it even uh, placed down some blocks inside of my end city uh, or my uh, end islands right there. So uh, that is uh, sort of how jigsaws work. I'm sure that this is much more powerful uh, than I can make it. Uh, because jigsaws will allow you to do much more things. You can just, you know, one, two, three, you know, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with jigsaw blocks. Right now, I can't actually get a village to generate using the jigsaw command. That includes all of the other stuff you expect in a village, like the homes and, you know, the, like, stalls with, like, animals and that sort of stuff. Uh, so just know that the jigsaw command is there. It's a lot more in-depth and uh, could be used uh, for people who know how to use those type of things in the future moving on to the last of the options was the with the place command and that is structure and this is probably the most exciting of the three options with this command and this allows you to put down a structure from inside of the game and these are more buildings where before feature was like natural generation structure is you know the big builds that we've come to know like an in city i was doing that earlier a desert pyramid buried treasure monuments uh, a mesa mine shaft shipwrecks that sort of stuff and inside of here is the villages so if i wanted here we're in a savanna we could put down a village that is a savanna village now it looks a little uh, glitched out and that's because I believe that Minecraft when it generates these villages it does it before any of the trees or any of this grass is here and so er as you can see it's trying to generate these paths on top of like double tall grass and that sort of stuff and Minecraft really doesn't <laughs> or it's like generating this uh, this what is it farm inside of a tree uh, and I think that when it does that inside of Minecraft those don't exist yet uh, the trees and the grass come after it's already generated the village so right now it's generating a village on top of all of that stuff which is kind of weird but what's weird is uh, another thing that's weird is that if we go out into an ocean because there's no grass or trees or anything it actually generates kind of well it generates in a in a nice way so I'm gonna just go out here to this ocean generate a village and there we go we have this water village here and this looks great this is actually kind of cool to roam around and check out all the paths are here you got uh, some huts with with some some grass and whatnot uh, this actually looks really really cool so using the structure command inside of this we can get some really really cool stuff to, to generate. Now I have noticed some stuff it is like built in to require certain things. So I think like for this, I might need to be either in a desert, I might need to have a certain amount of uh, land. I'm trying to generate this desert pyramid. Maybe I need to be in a desert and that's the only way that it'll generate. Also something like the ancient city, I'll generate it and I'll be like, wait, where's this ancient city? It said that it did it, but I don't see no ancient city. And that's because it's generating it where an ancient city would generate way down in the ground. So here, uh, it's actually inside of all of this rock, so we can't really see it. If I was to find an open area, a big open area like this over here, once my Minecraft loads in a bit, oh my gosh, I've broken Minecraft, and I do that same ancient city command, you can see, bam, there we go, now we have an ancient city, and it generates at the correct height that an ancient city should generate. And this has all of the structures, it, you know, it has done all of the jigsaw stuff that I was trying to do earlier. It has done all of that correctly. It has towers, it has uh, the, uh, you know, shulkers and, and skulk sensor and all that stuff in there, which is, is perfect. So you can use that generate structure command to get uh, these different structures. And just like with the generate feature command, uh, every single time you do it, it's kind of a little bit uh, uh, random uh, on which one you're going to get. So I was looking this way, and I generate an igloo, I generate another igloo, generate another igloo, generate another igloo, and uh, I don't even know where that fourth igloo went to, but you can see that those four that we can see, one is facing this way, another is facing this way, and that way, and that way. And so it looks like it's kind of randomly choosing a option same thing with this in city if i generate this in city well that's a really small short one but this one uh looks like it's a little bit different yeah a little bit taller but then i've also had massive in cities and there were some over there that were really 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 big 
Like that one's pretty, oh yeah, that one even has an elytra right there. So it's kind of luck of the draw when you use that command. And I haven't figured out a way if like say, okay, I want to in-city variant number two, you know, and get the same type of in-city every single time. Haven't figured that quite out yet. I think this is very, very powerful. And especially if you are trying to, uh, if you're like working with a server or something, you want to create something fun for your friends. Uh, this is really, really neat. I love that it makes uh, placing these down super easy for people to do and a lot of fun to kind of mess around with this. And I bet that this could be super useful for map makers and people who know commands a, a bit more than I do. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Make sure that you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.